Hello everyone, my name is Bappi Hamed and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this video, we'll be discussing one uh, very interesting object detection model called YOLO World. YOLO World is a zero-shot object detection model. You can use YOLO World for detecting any kinds of object without annotating any kinds of data. So in our traditional object detection model, what we use to perform, let's say, if I want to train any kinds of data, let's say I want to train one custom model on top of, let's say, a dog data set. So what I have to do, I have to first of all annotate the dog images, okay. Then my model will be able to uh, detect that particular dog from the image. But if you're using YOLO world, so here you don't need to annotate your image. Instead of that, what you have to give, you have to give the classes as a prompt to the model and your model will automatically understand the prompt based on that it will detect the object in that image itself. I will also show you the practical demonstration of this model, like how we can set up uh, the entire environment and how we can use the model for the detecting any kinds of object. So let me show you the amazing research paper on top of this uh, model has published. So here you can see this is the research paper. The research paper name is YOLO World Real-Time Open Vocabulary Object Detection. Okay. And here they have explained about this model, like what are the things they have developed inside this model. Even you will also see the architecture of the model, everything they have given. So if you're interested in learning about this model, if you want to deep dive it, please try to go through this particular amazing research paper. You will get each and everything. So here you can see they introduced something called YOLO world and uh, innovative approach that enhance YOLO with an open vocabulary detection capabilities through vision language modeling. So they're using something called vision language modeling here. They're also utilizing something called generative AI technology. Okay. To understand the prompt. That means uh, whatever classes you are giving as a prompt to understand this particular prompt, they're using something called large language model. Okay. In the back end. So again, you can go through this uh, paper. You will get each and every idea. Okay. What is the architecture they're using and all. And here is the benchmark graph. You can see this is the frame per second on the V100 GPU. And here you can also see the MAP score of this particular model. Apart from this model, we had some more model previously like uh, grounding, denote T. This model was available then uh, Glib V1 T. This, this model was available. But if you see the performance of YOLO world, so the performance is pretty good based on the FPS. That means frame per second. If you're also running this model on the video, so you will get good uh, frame per second here. So this model is having actually three variant uh, like YOLO World S that means this is the small model. YOLO World M that means this is the medium model and YOLO World L that means this is the largest model. Okay. So now let me show you how we can set up your environment and how we can use this YOLO World model for the object detection. So for this you can visit one website called uh, supervision.roboflow. Okay. Supervision.roboflow. So here is the website. So let me open it. So here you will see one section called cookbook. Just open this particular cookbook. So here actually you will get the notebook of this uh, zero shot object detection with YOLO world. So I don't need to write the code from scratch. Everything is available here. So let me open this particular uh, notebook. So here is the notebook section guys. So try to open this collab notebook. So inside collab actually will be making the setup. So guys, you can see this is the notebook and here already some example uh, they have given like how the detection is working and all. So here you can see some example uh, of the YOLO world. After detecting, they got the results and it is pretty good. So if you see the results, actually, it's pretty good. So I will go below. First of all, what I have to do, I have to connect with my GPU. So make sure you connect it, uh, connect your GPU. So for this, just click on the runtime and select the GPU here. So change run type type, select a T4 GPU. And if you're using Collab Pro, you can also use A100 and uh, L4 GPU as well. Okay, it's up to you. So as of now, I'll be selecting T4 GPU because here I'm using free collab. Now let me connect my notebook. So my notebook is connected. The first thing I'm going to check my GPU. So for this, you have to run this command called NVIDIA hyphen SMI. So it will, uh, it will actually give you your GPU configuration, like what kinds of GPU you got. See, I, here I got actually Tesla T4 GPU. Now here, the first thing we'll be doing, will be setting the home directory. So for this, actually, I can use the operating system package. And there is a method called get CW. That means get current working directory. Now you can see my current working directory is content. That means this is the current working directory. Okay. So this is called actually content directory. Now here, first of all, I have to install some package. So the first package actually I need called inference because inside inference actually we are having this YOLO world model and to install inference, this is the command you can follow. Now let me install. So installation may take some time. Let's wait. Once this installation is complete, I will come back. So guys, you can see installation is done. Now let me install another package called supervision. And I think you already know what is supervision. Supervision we can use for, uh, let's say rendering my image or rendering my video. Okay. After getting the detection. 
and on top of the supervision i already created one video in my youtube channel let me show you so here is the video guys uh, supervision uh, object detection track and count so if you don't know about supervision like how supervision works you can uh, watch this video you will get the idea what is supervision exactly so this supervision is developed by roboflow roboflow team so it is one of the amazing package you can use if you want to let's say render your image if you want to render your video after getting the detection so here you can see to install uh, supervision i can use this command so let me install the supervision as well and here i'm trying to install some specific version so if you need any other version you can check it out so there is a pipi website you can go here and you can check the different different version now installation is completed now first of all i have to import all the library so here i'm importing like cb2 that means open cb then supervision TQDM actually I'm importing uh, if you want to see the progress okay pro progress of any let's say loading so you can use that TQDM and here I'm importing this YOLO world from the inference okay inference package you can see so from inference models YOLO world YOLO world and I'm importing this YOLO world class okay so now let me import it now the next thing what I have to do I have to download some example data so this data is already available inside RoboFlow website let me show you so this is the image actually present inside RoboFlow server so we'll be downloading this particular image and on top of this image actually we'll be doing the inference so let me close it and let me open up my uh, notebook and there is another uh, actually command you can see so it will download one video okay from the overflow server so as of now i don't need the video i'm going to comment this line now let me uh, download this image first of all yeah so now you can see i don't i don't need this line so this is the image location inside content doc.jpg now let me open see this image is downloaded already so this is my doc.jpg now let me assign the path of this image now the next thing you have to initialize the yolo world model and to initialize you can use this yolo world uh, actually package you have imported inside that you have to specify the a version of the model like the variant of the model you want to use so as i already showed you yolo world is having three different model s m and l okay so here i'm using l model okay large model but here you can choose the model based on your machine configuration based on your problem statement let's say you need uh let's say higher accuracy that time you can use a big model but let's say you need actually higher inference uh, time that time actually you can use smallest model okay it's up to you now let me initialize the model see after initialization what you have to do you have to pass the classes as a prompt now in this particular image just try to figure out how many classes actually you can consider see see here we are having one dog image and in the dog actually what are the classes you can consider you can consider the eye of the dog then uh, ear of the dog even a person is also there okay so here i have mentioned different different actually classes you can see person a backpack that means backpack is also there so this is a bag mm, there is a bag okay now we are having something called dog eye nose ear and tongue okay so these are the classes i'm considering in this uh in this actually image you can also consider the car so i think car is also there see car is also there but it's not visible that's why i haven't mentioned here now this is my classes now we can pick any kinds of data and based on the data actually just try to define the classes here now you have to prompt these classes okay to the model for this you can use this particular method called set classes now see if i execute this program first of all it will download the model okay, it will download the language model and it will try to understand the prompt and it will create a embeddings okay embeddings representation of the classes you are giving based on the embedding actually it will try to decide uh, what kinds of object it has to detect okay all right now first of all i will load the image with the help of opencv and and for the inference i'm going to use one function called infer and inside that i'm going to pass the image and whatever detection actually i'll be getting we'll be using supervision to collect those results and we'll be keeping inside detection now let me show you now here inside supervision you can also set some parameter like what is the what will be the thickness of the let's say bounding box what will be the text thickness everything you can set here so i already set some default actually thickness value and all so let me execute yeah so finally if you want to render your image you can use uh, supervision.plot image okay inside that you can give your annotated image okay the image actually we are getting it uh, after the detection and you can also define the image size now see if i execute this uh, program so you will be able to see the prediction okay see this is my prediction and it has only detected the person and dog okay the person and dog but here we mentioned actually lots of classes okay but it is not able to detect those classes as well see if it is not able to detect what you can do you can decrease the confidence score okay you can decrease the confidence score so here is the section you can adjust the confidence score see as of now the confidence score actually i had given 0.003 i just decreased the confidence score a little bit but again it's not a recommended but if you decrease confidence score uh in the yolo world you will get actually good detection at the end okay let me show you so if i uh, if i execute the same code again only what i'm doing i'm decreasing the confidence okay 
now see again i'll be executing the line that means uh i load the image and i will just render uh with the help of supervision okay those detection actually i'm getting after the prediction now guys you can see this is the results i'm getting so it is able to detect uh eye nose tongue dog person backpack okay everything it is able to detect but the thing is like it is detecting actually twice uh, some of the detection so to handle this one what we can do we can use something called nms that means non-max separation i think you know what is non-max separation inside object detection so let me uh execute this code see here i'm using with nms okay so nms will try to uh actually delete these are the duplicate detection now if i again execute the visualization example now see this is my final results now you can see detection is pretty good and the confidence code is also good here okay so that's how you can use any kinds of image and without annotating those images actually you can uh do the inference with the help of yolo wild okay yolo wild actually object detection model and this is one of the amazing model they have developed they have also integrated genetive AI concept inside that and they created this amazing model okay so apart from yolo actually series i think you know we also created some video regarding the yolo in my youtube channel like yolo v5 yolo v6 v7 v8 even v9 i also created so if you want to understand those uh actually model you can also check it out and you will see that whenever i was using that model i had to annotate my data there okay but if i'm using yolo world model here i don't need to annotate the data i need to pass all the classes as a prompt okay and it will automatically get it now here video related code is already mentioned so only what you have to do you have to load the video instead of image and you can do the same thing okay it's the same step you can follow for the video inference as well so i'll leave it to you so you can um, actually export i will share this notebook with you even i will also share the research paper and the website link okay so yes this is all about uh, from this video i hope you liked it so thank you for watching this video and i will see you next time